What's up everyone? Back on another kayak trip. This time with my own kayak. Right now I'm um, in a, a lake called White Lake. I've been planning to come here for a while, but today I get to come here with my own inflatable kayak. I just bought this kayak like two days ago. It came out last night. And it calls uh, Quick Pack K1. It's an inflatable kayak from Amazon, $122. It comes with a pump and a paddle, float, and uh, I'm drifting on the side. Hold on. Sorry for being the video a little bit shaky. I forgot my cam and uh, like the holder, the clip so exactly to be exact. Okay. All right. And I also looks like a nice place to put the stick, the <laughs> selfie stick, and keep paddling. It's a pretty amazing like a uh, small lake it's it's a sinkhole lake before I uh, came down in the water like I started to paddle and I was looking at the uh, lakes info basically a long long time ago this lake was a mountain top peak of a mountain and one day there was water inside the peak the water gets bigger and the soil gets softer and one day the whole soil sunk in the ground like it's already in the ground but it sunk deeper so and it became a lake water started to come in the ice melt water the rain water and this we got a beautiful lake. You can see far away some uh, two people were paddling. I don't know if you would believe me. They were like literally by my side like five minutes, like ten minutes ago. And I was like hundred foot away. But I'm still stuck here and they're all the way up there. They're in a like paddle boat. That thing looking fun but like it should be pretty exhausting like standing up there doing the whole thing <sighs> so let me give you the view of the lake i'm at the corner of the lake right now but the water is magnificent you can like right now i think i'm a bit deep part of the lake but when I go to on the side I can literally see like 10 foot deep water like clear you know what I realized it's if the water is dark is good you don't have to see hey, what's in it you just in a safe boat and like you just paddle or go but when you get to see what's under the water shit gets scarier oh place is pretty f peaceful and my boat is pretty drifty it don't stay in one place for a while it just started to drift uh, like first of all it's an inflatable it's full of water or air it's on top of the water if it was like like half the way sinked under the water I think it would have been much stabler but as it's like floating on top of the water and the wind is blowing it don't worry I didn't lose any weight this is uh, like pretty good inflatable it can hold up to like 400 pounds so I think I'm a guy with like 240 it's doing pretty good except I hope I wish the paddle was a little better see I'm drifting 
I don't need a 360 camera though. My whole board is doing 360. <sighs> anyway, time to paddle. If you guys enjoy the view for a while. Let me... You know what? Let me go a little closer on this uh, show. So you can see how the water looks. That's the closest I can uh, get you guys to the water. And every time I go near the shore, shit gets scarier. I'm pretty sure there are like some uh, uh, black bear around here. And I'm pretty scared of uh, wild animals. So I'm trying to stay away from the shores. But right now I'm drifting to the shore. There is a like tree hanging, and but this, damn, look at the water. Damn, this place is awesome. We're driving 50 miles now, right? All right. The selfies. Oh. Okay. Time to go back again to the paddle again. Paddle. I forgot what time it is. I can't uh, like. I started paddling. I get a little sad on like uh, three thirty. And I pretty much. Did like half circle of the lake and um, at the furthest corner I can see a small dock up ahead there's like a abandoned dock some like way I guess a long time ago there was uh, it was pretty beautiful now it's all rusty Rotten. For a hundred dollar kayak inflatable, my shit is pretty dope. I'd say. Found a nice place to disable my camera between my foot toes. Why I said foot toes? Like. The fingers in your le leg called toes. Foot toes. The mouse. Anyway, this shit is pretty peaceful. Sorry for my language. I got kind of used to saying bad words, anyways. Look at the color of the leaves. Like it's the uh, end of summer. Like, I would say summer already ended. The water, uh, the air kind of breeze, chilly breeze, but look at the leaves, man. You can see the fall of earth coming, and the winter is game of time. <laughs> For some reason, I'm pretty chatty today. Uh, I assure you, I'm not high or anything. It's just, I'm feeling pretty good. No time limit to go home today. <sighs> Let's get back to about the boat. Like overall, this is a nice cheap boat. It's like really portable. I just put that in the back of my trunk and came up here and used the handheld pump. Pumping it up, it was like really hard. Like I had to, like at home, I tried it before, like uh, unboxing. I wanted to do an unboxing, but like my whole room was pretty messy. But that's why I was like, screw that. Let me just see if it, uh, uh, its boat is leaking or not. So my brother helped me to inflate the boat. We uh, I sat on it, check if it was leaking or not. Then deflated it, put that in my truck. Uh, what I why is that truck? I don't know why. Sorry, 
uh, in my back of my Toyota and drove up here almost 58 miles I would say pretty far from my home so basically driving like 100 miles today more than 100 miles because a lot of time I went off the track I went to McDonald's and shit but other than that like sorry for being off track but talking nonsense <laughs> This boat is like, what I'd say, it's holding up, like I would say, $100 worth it, but the only drawback is like the paddle is like really tiny, and it's like you have to touch, it. it's like it's broken into, I would say, one, two, three, four, five, six parts, so like when something is that many and have that many parts it's like it have a like pretty good chance of breaking down so i have to like be really careful when i paddle i don't want to break it down in the middle of the lake and get stuck up here maybe later i like think about buying a, another like good paddle as you can see i'm like really close to that rock yeah, this dock is abandoned. I can see danger sign or some kind of sign up there. Oh, there it is. You know what? I've been looking for that place for like half an hour. I had to drive like extra five minutes because I don't had any life. I don't have any life jacket with me right now. Though I know how to swim, that dog or else who is like that's the come kayaking without my head or swim without a life jacket. But that corner is like they have the free kayaking rental, the whole White Lake area they have like uh, they let you kayak for free. Oh look at their bird flying in formation. It's a pretty amazing view up here. So, what was I saying? Oh, they have the free kayaks up there. I saw a few people there wearing the orange vest. I thought they work up here, but uh, when I started to talk with them, I found out they don't. And they don't know where the, this place is. So on the Google map, it was like pretty sketchy. In the middle of the road, it said you arrived and there was like literally no uh, outlet from there. Like it's the middle of the road and it don't lead anywhere. So I guess that's the place. If I come back again later, I have to start from here or not. Because I don't know. I thought I would get in trouble if I, I kayak here without my life jacket. But then I saw some people kayaking without their life jacket and I said, yes, that's what I want. So, I inflated my boat and started paddling. And now we are here. It's like perfect weather. There was a little breeze when I, uh, before, but the whole water is pretty calm right now. Boom. Look at that water. It looks so crystal clear. <laughs>